Lori, Danny, put these shoes on. What are these for? Ah, uh, these are great. I finally figured out a way to drive Denby completely insane. I'm going to convince him he's shrinking. <laughs> Anything wrong, sir? No, no, I'm fine. I'm... Oh, my eyes! Giant lamp. Hey, Artie. Hey, aren't you supposed to be wearing the tall shoes? I can't deal with those things. I wore them down at the bar. I kept getting knocked out by the ceiling fan. <laughs> Looking good. Are you losing weight? Oh, yeah. Lori's been helping me with this special diet. But what's really helping is this machine. It's the Fatrocuter. <laughs> what's it do? Well, it's an electronic exerciser. It shocks your muscles into contracting without any effort on your part. I just did 200 sit-ups while I was talking to you. I need to get one of those. That's not on the market yet. The guy who invented it comes into the bar all the time. I'm gonna buy stock in his company. No, my dead gay dad left me some money. <laughs> and I've been talking to a financial planner about it, and he's set up this whole portfolio with stocks, bonds, CDs. But this seems real neat. Hey, Lori, hmm? we're breaking our diet. I've got a 10-pal Twinkie in my car. So, did you guys get the memo about all the departments having to go to group therapy? Yeah, we're going, and we're betting to see who's gonna cry first. My money's on me. <laughs> hey, hey, Shelly, listen, I'm trying to freak Denby out, man. Put these on, would you? <sighs> no way, Norm. Oh, okay, well, I have a better idea then. Why don't you just stand here and spoil everybody's fun? <laughs> Do I look smaller to you? No, sir, no, sir. You're probably just seeing things weird through your dirty glasses what? here. Let me clean them off for you here, sir. I'll just clean off. Ah, there you go. All better. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm just, I'm sick of you always pulling pranks on me. You're in front of this time, mister. I, I'm putting you on report. Uh, yes, sir. I filled out all the paperwork for you, sir. All you have to do is sign right here. Oh, oh. Norm, there is something wrong with you. You have an obsession with picking on Denby. Oh, you call it an obsession? I call it a commitment to excellence. Don't you realize how self-destructive this is? You are messing with the one guy who could really hurt you. Norm, you more than anyone could benefit from this group therapy workshop. Nah, I don't start with that group therapy thing again. I know all about group therapy. You start off talking about your childhood, you end up in a hot tub, wife swapping. Norm, this is why we broke up. You're completely unwilling to look at your life. Well, uh, so you're saying if I go to these uh, group therapy things that that would really make a difference to you? Yes, it would. A big difference. Really? So you'd go out with me then? Well, if you were psychologically more healthy, I would definitely consider it. All right, I'll go then. I'll go to one. You can't just go once. Well, how many do I have to go to? Well, there's not a magic number, Norm. You just go until you're better. See, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Okay, there were six sessions in the workshop. You have to go to all six. And uh, if I go to all six, then what do I get out of it? Well, if you go to all six, I'll, uh, well, I'll take you to lunch. And you'll be mentally healthy, and you'll have a chance at a happy life. Well, if I'm mentally healthy and I have a happy life, why would I go to lunch with you? <laughs> Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get started selling my body on the street for booze. <laughs> the bottle is turning my life into a living hell. Okay, I think we can start now. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, all of you guys have really stressful jobs, and I'm just here to help you cope with that. So let's get started. Who wants to say something? Dr. Phil, I'm having problems at work. Um, I'm usually pretty patient, but my cat's been sick lately, and as a result, I've been a little short with people. Uh, well, Lori, um, sometimes when you're short with me, it hurts my feelings. Did you not hear one word I just said about my cat? <laughs> That handicap sure loves the booze. Excuse me, Norm, but you know what I'd love? That is if you'd put Andy Cap down and get your head in the game here, boy. Well, uh, I just want to go on record, Dr. Phil, as saying that unlike my esteemed colleagues here, I am not a whack job. Why don't you let me decide that and you just tell us what's on your mind? Well, let me just say this then. The only reason I'm here is to impress some girl. <laughs> me too. I got to go to five of these stupid things. I gotta go to six. Hey, hey, I got an issue. I only want to go to five of these like this guy. Norm, Norm, come on. We're all here to make the workplace environment better. You can say something. I got no problems at the workplace. I get along with everybody. Uh, oh, everybody, Norm. Well, I, I don't get along with my boss, but that's not my fault. There's no pleasing Mr. Daddy, that guy. Mr. Daddy? <laughs> I said, Mr. Denby. What am I, deaf here? You, you, you said Mr. Daddy. No, I didn't. All right, who heard Mr. Daddy? Uh, Mary? I'm sorry. I was in the middle of a blackout. Well, I'll tell you what, Norm. Since you brought your daddy up, why don't you just tell us about him? Well, my father was a great man. Oh, really? What was great about him? Well, he was a, he was a good man. Fine, then. What was good about him? Well, he's a man. I know that. Norm, you've obviously got some problems with your father here. Maybe you should just talk to him. Uh, no, no. I, I could never talk to my father. You've obviously got some problems that are messing up your relationship with your boss here. This is crazy. My father has nothing to do with Mr. Daddy. You said it again. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I'm telling you, Norm, you're never going to fix your problems with Mr. Denby. Ah, you You're... said it. You said it, Mr. Daddy. <laughs> what? You heard that? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, maybe you should go meet with him and make out. Look, Norm, that dog won't hunt around here, boy. You've obviously unearthed something very deep here. You can't just bury it. Oh, really? Well, you'd be surprised at what I can bury. I'm burying this whole session right now in my head. No, you can't, Norm. Oh, yes, I can. I'm burying it way back, way back in my brain, way, way back behind the, the algebra that I learned when I was a kid. And... <laughs> and way back behind the, the state capitals, and way back behind that time I played dress-up with my Uncle Bill and his roommate. Is he seeing anybody? Hey, son, throw me a 316th. I, I can't find it, Dad. Uh, all there is is a, a broccoli, a trout and a copy of the Magna Carta. Can't you do anything right, you moron? Mr. Daddy? Bury it. Bury it. Having fun, son? I sure am, Mr. Daddy. Good. Now, the rest of you boys can get your merit badges by tying knots. Norm? You must wrestle the chicken bear. <laughs> now remember, Wiener Dog, you're in the stream as a phallic symbol. Tried to tell you, Norm. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh, oh, wiener dog, 
you don't know how lucky you are to have a walnut-sized brain. <laughs>
All right, I know you don't respect me, but as long as you work in my office, you have to work by my rules. Yo, well, your rules are stupid. I have a friend that works in another office, and his boss lets him do whatever he wants. So I suppose if your friend jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge, you'd jump with him? Yeah, I would to get away from you. <laughs> I can't wait for my probation to be over, because I'm going to leave, and I'm never going to come back and visit you ever. <laughs> you talk after all I've done for you. You've never done anything for me. I gave you life. <laughs> now do you see? Now do you see? You're not talking to Norm. You're talking to your son. Good. You're not talking to Mr. Denby. You're talking to your father. God, you're right. But no, look, this can be a good thing. Th these are small steps to start a new relationship. Jeez, Norm, I, uh, perhaps I haven't been treating you fairly. Well, I'm sorry, too, sir. I, I, I'm sorry for all the jokes I made at your expense, uh, especially that particularly funny one about how you had a womanly pelvis, you know? <laughs> made you cry. No, that's a, that's a medical fact, Norm. You can't be blamed. <laughs> okay, just calm down. Calm down. You guys are doing some good work here, but you got a long way to go. Yeah. And, and Mr. Denby, it, it might help if you tried to not touch Norm quite so much. So therapy went really well? Oh, yeah, it feels great. I'm telling you, you know, when you let out your anger, it really makes you feel good, you know? And it, and it makes your skin softer. Hey, hey Norm. Oh, hey, Max. Hey, uh, my, uh, my good friend, Norm. <laughs> I wanted to compliment you on your filing, and I, I, uh, I got you a little something. Oh, sir, a ring? Uh, no. <laughs> no. It's, uh, it's a friendship chain. Uh, yours says best, and mine says buds. Uh, sir, I'm swelling up with emotion. Everything the ladies say about jewelry is true. <laughs> You know, I, I, on the way over here this morning, I was thinking of a joke. Uh, I was thinking, Norm, uh, in this crazy place, you're just about the norm. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good joke, eh? <laughs> no, it's not good, but it's a joke. <laughs> norm, you have done things I never thought you would do. I must be incredibly hot. <laughs> yeah, well, so you want to go to lunch? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. I'll go get my coat and I'll meet you at the bar. Oh, great. Well, wait, wait, wait. Well, where are you going there, pal? Oh, I'm gonna go have uh, lunch with Shelly. Yeah, but we, you and me had plans. We were gonna go have our frozen hot chocolate at Serendipity's. <laughs> well, I'll have to take a rain check on that. Yeah, sir. but we had a plan. I brought my hat and everything. <laughs> I'll go with you, sir. Get away from me. Okay. <laughs> You, 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 you can't go out for lunch today anyway. You, you got a whole stack of overdue reports on your desk. All right, sir. Well, I'll take care of those. I, I, I don't want to be responsible, you know. Are you, trying to, are you trying to wreck our friendship? You know, I should have known this was going to happen. You, you, you've always had a problem with commitment. Sir, I don't think it's fair for you to say things that you learned about me in therapy. You know, that's private stuff. Like, I would never tell everybody that you were raised by your mother as a girl. <laughs> Just like I would never say, I would never say your fourth grade nickname, Clancy Wets is Pansy. <laughs> you are a sister kisser. <laughs> we were seven, I was drunk. <laughs> okay, guys, guys, guys. Hey, don't you see what you're doing? You're... You're falling back to your old routine, okay? Yeah, you know, you're right. Listen, we ought, we ought to use the skills Dr. Phil taught us. Hey, 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 get up, get up, get up! <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit. Knees. <laughs> now look, you are not my son. You are not my father. I want to smash your head in with a phone. <laughs> I'd like to fill your head with fire ants. <laughs> sir, sir, I just realized, I don't hate you because you remind me of my father. I hate you because you're you. <laughs> and I hate you because you're you. <laughs> yes, this is a real breakthrough, sir. I'll see you after lunch. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> 
Norm, I know how hard you've been working on your problems with Mr. Demby, but you're never going to be emotionally healthy until you talk to your dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's going to be difficult since I don't know where my father is. Well, I do. Oh, my God, Dad. This is so exciting. I can't believe you're here. If I give you a dollar, will you stop acting like a little girl? <laughs> Word must have got out about the side effects. The stock is crashing. Oh, crap. We're going to lose everything. we got to sell right now. Get online. Okay. 